To replace the side brush motor on Bob Sweep Standard, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, a flat head screwdriver, and a new side brush motor. Before starting any repair on Bob, turn his side power switch off and remove his dustbin. Then flip Bob over onto a flat surface and remove his main and side brushes using the flathead screwdriver. Keep all removed screws and parts safely aside as they may be needed for later reassembly. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the seven screws on Bob's underside that hold him together. One screw on each side of the front wheel. One screw to the right of the main brush motor. One screw on each side of the dustbin. The final two screws are in the brush compartment. Bob's cover is no longer secured, so hold the top and bottom together as you carefully flip him back onto his wheels. Grip Bob's cover from the back and lift up to expose the main board. Slide the power inlet down and tuck it somewhere safe to avoid compressing its wires. To detach Bob's cover completely, disconnect four circuit plugs. Two at the lower edge of the main board, near the wheels, and two more at the top edge, near the bumper. Bob's cover is now completely detached and can be set aside for the rest of the repair. Disconnect all remaining 12 circuit plugs from the main board. Press the small tab on each circuit plug and pull to disconnect. Remove three screws on the main board. Keep them aside for later reassembly. Now lift the main board out of Bob. In front of Bob's right wheel, you'll see the side brush motor, held in place by three screws. Remove all three and keep them aside for later reassembly. Then lift the motor out. Place the new side brush motor in the open space, in line with the screw posts. Push down until the motor sits flat. Then reinstall all three screws. Feed the motor's wiring so it reaches over to Bob's left side before replacing the main board. Align the holes in the main board with the three screw posts on Bob's interior. Ensure that the main board sits flat before reinstalling the three screws. One screw goes in the middle of the main board, one in the top corner, and one in the lower corner. Now reconnect all the circuit plugs correctly. The order of plugs on the left side of the main board from top to bottom is a small plug with black and yellow wires, a plug with two pairs of twisted wires, a plug with multicolored wires for Bob's left wheel, a plug with blue and black wires. The order of plugs at the top of the main board from left to right is a small plug with red and green wires, a wide plug with multicolored wires, two empty spaces for now, and a small plug with black and orange wires in the top right corner. The order on the right side of the main board from top to bottom is a wide circuit plug for Bob's power switch, and a plug with black and orange wires for Bob's power inlet. For now, the bottom of the main board will have two open spaces to the very left. Then the order from left to right is a small circuit plug with a red wire, one more open space, a small plug with yellow wires, and a plug with multicolored wires on the very right. Now you're ready to begin reattaching the cover. Reattach all four circuit plugs connecting Bob's cover to the main board. Two connect to the top edge of the main board, and two more connect to the bottom edge.
Remember to slide the power inlet back into its space on Bob's cover. Align the cover's edges precisely. Then flip Bob over onto a flat surface. Reinstall all seven screws previously removed from Bob's underside. Ensure that no wires are compressed in the main brush compartment or visible at the edges of the bumper. If so, take a step back and lift the cover to tuck the wires into the appropriate spaces. Reinstall the main and side brushes using the flathead screwdriver. Replace the dustbin before your next use and congratulations! You've just replaced Bob's side brush motor. Happy cleaning!